I think that his biggest asset is not necessarily his punching power. His biggest asset is his intelligence inside the ring. He sets guys up. If you, if you study some of his fights and some of the tapes that have been done on him. Uh, he studies guys and sets punches and puts punches in places where it's set, set up the second shot, setting up the third shot. So um, it's not about a fight. It's about a chess game for him. It's about somebody giving him a mental challenge uh, to, to try to bring out some of those things that I see in the gym on a daily basis, basis when he's there. Right. He's the most exciting fighter in the world right now. Uh, when do you see him unifying the title uh, for the middleweight division? I would hope by the, by the end of next year we're talking about him being a unified champion, him having all the four belts. Andy Lee has already expressed interest, and uh, the winner of this next fight, Colo Canelo, Canelo is uh, mandated to fight him. So by the end of next year, uh, he should be the unified champion, and then we'll... Uh, We'll see what Tom, uh, other challenges Tom puts in, Tom puts in front of us. Hey, what, a, what about the, uh, the Cowboy Stadium? Do you, do, would you prefer to have him here in, at the Cowboy Stadium or in Vegas, or does it matter? You know, uh, uh, we from the beginning, as a Golovkin team, uh, our, our, our objective was to, first of all, to make him a unified champion. But second of all, to make him a world champion. To fight him all over the all over the world, to fight him uh, in the States, all over the States. And, and last night being at the Cowboy Stadium, that environment and that ambiance with 100,000 people in it would be quite exciting for, not only for me, but for Gennady and Gennady's uh, uh, followers. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, but this is Jimmy Blue, our Access Elite Boxing. Quick question. Uh, how often does uh, Gennady Golovkin rest in between fights? How, how soon is he back in the gym, and what do you expect from him after the fights? You know, he's actually the kind of fighter, he's so disciplined at home, that he's actually the kind of fighter that I only require him to be in the gym for eight weeks. After that, he goes home. To this day from the last fight, he hasn't done one bit of running, one bit of training, one bit of nothing. But I bet you he's weighing 170, 171 pounds right now. That's what he comes to the gym at. And uh, when we get to the gym, if I can't get him in shape, the kind of fighter that he is in eight weeks, and I'm not doing my job. With uh, Canelo, you know, speaking a lot about the catch weights, and he, obviously he has a big fight in his hand with Cotto. Uh, a lot of people say that, you know, Canelo may be losing focus looking at, uh, you know, Golovkin when he still has a, you know, reliable opponent in front of him. What do you, what are your take on that? He's got a very, very live opponent in front of him. Uh, Cotto's had a Hall of Fame career. Cotto's a heck of a fighter. Um, Canelo better think about him first, but as far as the catch weight, catch weight is concerned, uh, Golovkin's objective is not so much Cotto or Canelo. It's to have the WBC belt. If they choose not to fight him, that's okay. They can go on about their business. But they're there in the next year. They're going to have to come to, to Golovkin. They're going to have to come to Golovkin for that money fight. Hey, so, hey,